the biggest story of the offseason has been where would Tom Brady play this upcoming NFL season? Will he be a Patriot? Will he be playing for another organization? Nobody knows. And the second question is, who will replace Tom Brady? And a lot of people are talking about Teddy Bridgewater, Andy Dalton, maybe the Patriots trade up in the NFL draft for a quarterback or something like that. But nobody's talking about the guy who was the back of the Tom Brady last season. That was Jared Stidham. Jared Stidham played very well in the preseason last year. So good that New England Patriots released Brown Hoyer. They had so much confidence in Jared Stidham to be the back of this something was to happen to Tom Brady that they released Brian Hoyer, who has been around the NFL for several years, seasoned that veteran, and is a solid backup. They were willing to release Brown Hoyer for Jared Stidham because of how well Jared Stidham played in the preseason. Now, when we look at how good the New England Patriots have been at finding backup quarterbacks, look at look no further. Jacoby Brissett, Jimmy Garoppolo. Both drafted by the New England Patriots. Both scouted. None of those guys signed in free agency. Guys nobody really knew of. Now both of those guys are both starting quarterbacks for NFL franchises. Jimmy Garoppolo is a starting quarterback for the 49ers. He was just in the Super Bowl. Jimmy Garoppolo, as of right now, is a starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. Now, both of those quarterbacks are not elite or great anything like that, but... They fit well for what their roles are. Jacob Brissett is an okay starter. He's an okay backup. He can start a couple of games for you. Maybe he could be a starter. I don't know. But Jacob Brissett is okay. Jimmy Garoppolo just to the 49ers of the Super Bowl. Now, he's not one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but he's an above-average quarterback. And if you, don't, if you don't want to give the New England Patriots for those guys, go no further than Matt Castle. Matt Castle took the New England Patriots to 11-5 record. Okay? So the New England Patriots have had success in finding good backup quarterbacks. And good quarterbacks who could potentially replace Tom Brady. And going back of how good the New England Patriots are scouting potential successes to Tom Brady... I'm looking at Jared Stenham, a guy who threw for 798 passing yards in the preseason, four touchdowns and one interception, and completed 68% of his passes. Now, a lot of you guys might be like, the preseason is overrated. Can't determine how good the quarterback is going to be because of how good they do in the preseason. That is true, but it gives you a good measuring tool. A lot of the guys always use the notion of you can't determine how good a quarterback is because it's preseason because nobody's going to 100%. But look at guys like Russell Wilson and Dak Prescott. Russell Wilson initially was supposed to be riding the bench behind Matt Flynn. But Russell Wilson played good in the preseason. And good enough that Seattle felt he was good enough to be the starter. Dak Prescott played well enough in the preseason that the Dallas Cowboys had faith that he could end up being the starter for the Dallas Cowboys. And they didn't have to end up tanking when Roman went down with that injury. So, preseason is... A mixture of both. It gives you a little bit of an indication of where a young player may be in their development, right? And determining the future. Assessing the backup roles and things like that. So we're looking at Jared Stenham, right? Jared Stenham doesn't have to be great. At best, he has to be average. You don't have to have a lead quarterback to win the Super Bowl. Guys like Joe Flacco, it's been plenty of average quarterbacks throughout NFL, what, NFL history to win Super Bowls. You don't have to be great to win the Super Bowl. Okay? You just have to be good enough. Jared Stidham, I believe could be good enough. Now, the New England Patriots, they do have a couple of holes to fill. They do have to improve the receiving core. Off the line could use a little bit of work. But Bill Belichick is the greatest head coach in NFL history. You got Josh McDaniels, who is the best offensive coordinator in the game right now. I believe Jared Stidham could come in and have success with the New England Patriots and be good enough to take the New England Patriots to the playoffs. Look at the AFC East. It's not a lot of competition. The only competition the New England Patriots really should fear is the Buffalo Bills. But even then, Bill Belichick is just so good of a coach, he probably out-coach the Buffalo Bills still. 
A lot of those games, I predicted Buffalo would win over the New England Patriots this past season. And the New England Patriots still find ways to beat the Buffalo Bills. So I think Jared Stidham is a good enough quarterback that he could end up being the franchise quarterback for the New England Patriots. A lot of people keep on saying the New England Patriots need to sign Teddy Bridgewater. They need to sign this guy. They need to trade up. That's not what the New England Patriots organization is. It never has been. The New England Patriots, since Bill Belichick took over, has always had the next man up mentality. They lose one guy, they don't make drastic trades or big, splashy free agent signs to replace that guy. The guy who is right behind them, they call his jersey, and he's next man up. For the New England Patriots, it's not about talent. It's about players who fit well in the New England Patriots system, doing your job. And I believe Jared Stidham can be good enough to do his job. To the effect that I still think the New England Patriots can make it to the playoffs, win their division, and still be Super Bowl contenders with Jared Stidham at the helm at the quarterback position. And he's also young. Here's where a lot of people fail to realize that eventually the New England Patriots were going to have to end up moving on from Tom Brady. Even if he doesn't leave a free agency, he's still going to retire eventually. So you still have to have a guy who can be that successor to Tom Brady. And I think that guy is Jared Stidham. You see, here's what separates the Patriots from the rest of the teams in the NFL, right? A team loses a star wide receiver. What they do, they go to free agency to replace him. That's not the New England Patriots style. Their style is next man up. Now, they do have significant hold, then they will go in free agency, try to find some key players. But the New England Patriots is not an organization that relies really heavily on free agency. The New England Patriots' biggest free agent signing over the last decade probably was Stephon Gilmore. Their biggest trade was probably Josh Gordon. The New England Patriots is not an organization that panics. They're not going to panic just because Tom Brady leaves. They're going to have that next man up mentality, and Jared Stidham is going to come in and be the starter. And I think he's well good enough, well equipped to be able to do that. You got to look. He has a great coaching staff. I've never seen a quarterback fail that had a great coaching staff. It doesn't matter what you guys may think about Jared Stidham. I've never seen a quarterback be a bust or fell flat on their face with a great coaching staff. Because you want to know why? Because they know how to build their offense around the quarterback. That's why you always see Andy Reid have success with backup quarterbacks. When Patrick Mahomes got injured, Kansas City still had chances to win games without Patrick Mahomes because Andy Reid was able to maneuver the offense to fit the quarterback who he had started. That's what separates the great coaching staffs from the average coaching staffs to the bad coaching staffs. The great coaching staffs can build their offense around whoever's the starting quarterback. And the New England Patriots being the great coaching staff that they are can do that with Jared Stidham. They did it in the past. They won with Jim Garoppolo. Jacob Brissett had success. They won with Matt Castle. Matt freaking Castle. So based on the history and how good the New England Patriots have been in finding successors and backup quarterbacks, I don't think there's going to be no different. And eventually, a lot of people fail to realize this, but the New England Patriots were going to have to find a young quarterback to replace Tom Brady sooner or later. It doesn't matter if he leaves a free agency. Tom Brady's going to have to hang up the cleats eventually. He can't play football forever. So they still need to have a quarterback who can come in and be the potential successor to Tom Brady. And I think that guy is Jared Stidham. I like what I see now, Jared Stidham. And that's what the New England Patriots mentality is. Everybody's replaceable. Doesn't matter how good you are, next man up, life goes on. Jared Stidham doesn't have the biggest arm, but from what I saw, he was a solid decision maker in the preseason. He was accurate to football, and he had some mobility as well. He can run with the football. This day and age of the NFL, you have to be able to run the football as a quarterback. Pick up some tough yards or extend plays. Now, you don't have to be Lamar Jackson-like, but you have to have some kind of mobility. That's what Jared Stidham has. The New England Patriots 
don't need to go to free agency to replace Tom Brady. They don't need to trade up in the draft to get to a Justin Herbert. They have the franchise quarterback sitting right in front of them, and that is Jared Stenham. Jared Stenham doesn't have the strongest arm. He's not the biggest quarterback. But that's what the New England Patriots like. They don't draft the, the New England Patriots don't draft players because they're the most athletic or they're the fastest or they're the strongest or because they're the biggest. They draft players who fit their system. And Jared Stidham fits the New England Patriots system. You have a good coaching staff around him. The best coaching staff in the NFL, Jared Stidham, is set up for success with the New England Patriots. He has all the pieces around him. The New England Patriots, of course, are going to add some talent. And I think Jared Stenham is good enough to be the franchise quarterback for the New England Patriots if Tom Brady leaves. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.